corresponding angles are equal. That's the easy part. The hard part is figuring out what corresponding angles are. Uh, so if we have a transversal going through two parallel lines, we've created eight angles. And the way I want you to look at this is we have two sets of four. There's four angles on top and four angles on the bottom. Let's look at the four angles on top. There's the top left angle, angle one. There's the top right angle, angle two. There's the bottom right angle, the bottom left angle. That's how I want you to be thinking about these angles because each of those guys has a corresponding angle with the set of four below. And those two are equal. Let me show you what I mean. Angle one is top left. So what's the top left angle from the bottom set of four? Well, the top left there is angle five. So one and five are corresponding and one or five are, are equal. So let's say that angle two, this, uh, this top right guy over here, was 130 degrees. What would angle six be? Well, angle six is also top right, so two and six must be corresponding, and corresponding angles are equal. That was the easy part. So angle six is also 130 degrees, right? That's how we find corresponding angles. <laughs>